Did you know that when we eat could be just as important for our health as what we eat? Scientists first discovered that wrong feeding times can impact health negatively when working with animals. For example, mice are nocturnal. They normally feed at night and rest during the day. But when fed incorrectly during the day, they develop obesity, even when they eat the same amount of food. There's recently been an increasing number of human studies as well, showing that eating times can influence our weight management and risk of developing chronic conditions. So why does timing of food matter for our health? Well, it has to do with our biological clocks. Each of us has an internal clock system that tunes our body's biology and behavior to the right time of the day. It is called the circadian timing system, and in fact, all living organisms, mammals, insects, and plants have evolved such clocks. In humans and other mammals, this system includes the master clock located in the hypothalamus and many other clocks located in peripheral tissues – the liver, pancreas, gastrointestinal tract, just to name a few. The master clock gets reset daily by light, which it perceives directly through our eyes. So what does the master clock do? Or just everything. It sets daily patterns for our biology, physiology and behavior. So our alertness and sleepiness, our blood pressure, core body temperature, expression of genes and release of numerous hormones. In fact, remember the last time you had jet lag after flying across time zones? That unpleasant state was your circadian clock readjusting to the new light-dark cycle. The peripheral clocks, on another hand, regulate local metabolic processes. Now, while the master clock sends signals to all these peripheral clocks on how to synchronize with the right time of the day, they are mainly set by eating behaviors, such as the time at which we eat. So eating at the wrong time of the 24-hour cycle, which for humans would be at night, can uncouple the peripheral clocks from the master clock, causing disturbances in how the body functions, and that can lead to different health problems – diabetes, obesity, cardiovascular disease, and even neurological disorders, such as depression. In other words, eating needs to match our environment. Specifically, it appears healthier to avoid eating late at night and generally to get most of our energy during the day. In fact, these recommendations match the old saying, the one that's roughly the same across many cultures – eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and dine like a pauper. The emerging field of how diet interacts with our circadian rhythm is actually called chrononutrition. And stay tuned, as more studies are on their way.